The court on a five to four vote upheld President Trump's travel ban, which restricts immigration from certain countries with mostly Muslim populations. The court said that this was squarely within the president's powers uh, and his ability to protect the country and to control the borders. There was a very passionate dissent from Justice Sotomayor from the bench in which she read some of the president's anti-Muslim tweets and said, let that sink in. That's from the President of the United States. The court says that you have to look at what the, the proclamation does. It followed a study by the administration of countries' uh, vetting processes for those who wanted to leave that country and come here. They found these countries deficient. And they said that this really is not a Muslim ban. In fact, most of the countries with very large Muslim populations are not part of the ban. It did express some concern about President Trump's statements, but it said that that wasn't enough for them to rule that this travel ban was improper. This is a great victory for our Constitution. Even though uh, lower courts had struck it down, the Supreme Court earlier had allowed it to go into effect while it considered the case. Uh, so it's already been in effect. And there are concerns from some of the groups about the waiver program uh, that is available for those uh, who want to ask for an exception to the ban. That was brought out in the dissents from two of the justices who were worried that that program wasn't really working.